morning friends welcome back to another episode of tic tac tot story time with me steffi thank you for joining with me today and i hope you're doing well wherever you are my reading friends in today's book we will follow mrs madoff's class in their preparations for their 100 days of school what will happen on their 100 days of school let us find it out as we read 100 school days please enjoy the story 100 school days story by Anne rockwell pictures by lizzie rockwell on the first day of school mrs madoff gave me a penny she asked me to put it in the jar on her desk Plink! I dropped the penny into the jar. Mrs. Madoff asked Evan to bring a penny to school the next day. Every day, someone put a penny in the jar. Plink! 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 Every day, we help count the pennies. Mrs. Madoff told us that's how we would know how many days we had gone to school. When we counted 10 pennies, we knew we had been going to school for 10 days, but we had learned more than 10 new things. On day 10, Plink, Sam put his penny in the jar. He also brought 10 balloons to celebrate day 10. Each of us blew up one balloon. Then Sam and I took them to the principal's office. She said, thank you, these are beautiful. Blink, went to the penny Evan dropped into the jar. When we counted them, we found 20 pennies. We knew it was day 20. Broom, broom. That's why Evan brought 20 matchbox cars to school. When day 30 came, Michiko dropped in her penny. It went plink when it landed on top of the pennies in the jar. She had collected 30 red, brown, and yellow leaves. We taped them to the windows of our classroom to celebrate autumn. <laughs> on day 40, Sarah brought in a penny and plink, she dropped it into the jar. She brought 40 paperback books to school. Her grandmother helped her carry them because they were heavy. Aww. On day 50, Evelyn brought in a penny. She dropped it with a plink into the jar. She also brought 50 seashells to school and told us how she had collected them at the beach. On day 60, Nicholas dropped in his penny. Plink, it landed in the penny jar. It took a long time to count the pennies. Nicholas brought 60 baseball trading cards with pictures of famous ball players on them. He said he went to four baseball games during summer vacation and saw Lonnie Alonzo hit two home runs. On day 70, it was so cold and windy outside. I wore the woolly hat that covers my ears. That day, Kate dropped a penny into the jar with a plink. She also brought in 70 sunflower seeds. We made a sunflower cake and put it in a string bag for the hungry birds. When day 80 came, Pablo brought in a penny. Plink! It went as it dropped it into the jar. That morning, we counted 80 pennies. Pablo also brought a package of 80 popsicle sticks to school. We each got 8 sticks. Look what I made with mine! On day 90, Charlie brought in a penny. Plink! It went. The jar of pennies was almost full. 
Charlie brought a puzzle with 90 pieces. He told me he had already put the puzzle together and made a picture of a dinosaur. Then he took it apart again. Finally, the big day arrived. It was day 100. That day, I brought in a penny. Plink! The jar was full. We counted a hundred pennies. That meant we'd been going to school for a hundred days. I brought a hundred jelly beans to celebrate day 100. Everyone brought a bag that held 100 of something good to eat. There were 100 pieces of popcorn, 100 pretzels, 100 raisins, 100 almonds, 100 chocolate chips, 100 pieces of star-shaped cereal, 100 dried banana chips, 100 mini marshmallows, 100 cheesy fish crackers, and 100 smooth jelly beans. Mmm, yummy! We took turns passing the bowl of yummy treats to everyone in the cafeteria. It was day 100 at my school and at all the schools in the city where I live. Now, all those schools are going to send their jars of 100 pennies far away. They're sending the money to the town where the hurricane hit. The people who live in that town can buy something they need with all those pennies. I wonder what it will be. The end. At the end, children send their pennies to the people in needs. My reading friends, certainly it is really nice and kind to help other people in need with something special from us. If you like this kind of story, please give a thumbs up. Also subscribe to our channel to hear other special story from me. See you in the other story.